in this video we have been given that a b c d is a, a square and a d is 4 and radius of the circle is 1 then we have to find shaded area so suppose the center of the circle is o and suppose this point is m this point is n and this point is k then om it will be equal to on it will be equal to ok that will be radius and it is 1 so on it will be 1 and ok it will be 1 and now in any circle radius and tangent they are perpendicular to each other so this angle it will be 90 degree this angle it will be 90 degree and this angle it will be 90 degree and now in an om this angle it will be 90 degree because abcd is a square and this angle is 90 degree this angle is 90 degree so this angle it will be 90 degree and we have om is equal to on that is 1 that means a n o m it will be a square and in any square if we join diagonal then it will make an angle of 45 degree with side and here we know that a b c d it is a square and a n o m it is a square so a o it will make an angle of 45 degree with AB and also AC it will make an angle of 45 degree with AB that means AC it will pass through O so AO it will pass through C and also in any square if this side is S then diagonal it will be S times S square root of 2 so here we have a b c d it is a square and a d is 4 that means a c it will be 4 times a square root of 2 and we have a n o m is a square and o n is 1 that means a o it will be a square root of 2 so OC it will be AC minus AO that will be 4 times a square root of 2 minus a square root of 2 that will be 3 times a square root of 2 
OC, it is three times a square root of two. And now inter angle OKC it is O K C O K is one O C is three times a square root of two and this angle is ninety degree. So O K square plus K C square it will be O C square by Pythagoras theorem and O K is one square plus K C square it is equal to O C is three times a square root of two. A square and it is one plus k c a square. It is equal to nine times two will be eighteen. So k c a square it will be seventeen. That means k c it will be a square root of seventeen. We get k c. It is a square root of seventeen, and now in any circle from any point P, if we make two tangent. On the circle, suppose this point is A and this point is B, then PA it will be equal to PB. PA it will be equal to PB. So, from point E, EN it will be equal to EK. Suppose x, e n is x and e k is x. And now we know that a b c d it is a square. That means a d it will be equal to b c. That will be four. B c will be four, and also a d. It will be equal to a b. That will be four. A b. It will be four. And this angle. It will be ninety degree. And a n o m. It is also a square. So a n. It will be equal to o m. That will be one. A n is one. So. E B, it will be equal to A B minus A N minus N E. That will be four minus one minus six. So E B, it will be three minus six. And now. Inter angle CEB it is CEB we have EB is three minus x CB is four and CE it is a square root of seventeen plus x it is a square root of seventeen plus x. And this angle is ninety degree. So C B a square plus B E a square it will be equal to C E a square. And it is four a square plus three minus x a square. 
is equal to a square root of 17 plus x a square and it is 16 plus and 3 minus x a square it will be 9 plus x a square minus 6x it is equal to this will be 17 plus x a square plus 2 times a square root of 17 times x and x a square will get cancelled and 16 plus 9 is 25 minus 6x it is 17 plus 2 times a square root of 17 x and 25 minus 17 it will be 8 that will be 2 times a square root of 17 x plus 6x so 4 it will be a square root of 17 x plus 3x and 4 is equal to x times a square root of 17 plus 3 so x will be equal to 4 by a square root of 17 plus 3 and if we multiply it with a square root of 17 minus 3 by a square root of 17 minus 3 then x will be equal to 4 times a square root of 17 minus 3 by and a plus b times a minus b it is a square minus b square so this will be a square root of 17 a square minus 3 a square so x is equal to 4 times a square root of 17 minus 3 by 17 minus 9 and x is 4 times a square root of 17 minus 3 by 8 and 4 times 2 is 8 so it is a square root of 17 minus 3 by 2 and we get x is a square root of 17 minus 3 by 2 and now area of CEB it will be 1 by 2 times base is EB times height is BC and it is 1 by 2 times EB is 3 minus x times bc is 4 and 2 times 2 is 4 so it is 2 times 3 minus x and it is 2 times 3 minus x is a square root of 17 minus 3 by 2 and it is 2 times 6 minus a square root of 17 minus 3 by 2 and 2 will get cancelled so it is 6 minus a square root of 17 minus 3 that will be 6 minus a square root of 17 plus 3 that will be 9 minus a square root of 17 so area of CEB it is 9 minus a square root of 17 it is 9 minus a square root of 17